Hello, I'm with Matt from Wolf in his podcast. Uh, here we are uh, at an away game today. Um, lost 4 0 to Wolves. Um, I think it was quite an entertaining game. What was your take on it? It was, yeah. I think, you know, first game of the season, you, you don't know what to expect, do you? I think both, both teams are making new changes, and you mm-hmm. think, of course, we're going to be favourites going into it, but, yeah, I think we, we've had quite a strange pre season, so you, you kind of wonder whether it's all going to click. And yeah. And at the start of the game, you know, it was a little bit even to start with, didn't you? Now, Starbridge had a bit of possession too, and you think, OK, which way is this going to go? Mm-hmm. How long can you keep us without scoring, I think? And then you yeah, yeah. The chance, but I think when that first goal goes in there, it becomes quite difficult for you, doesn't it? And then it's floodgates open a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, and you got me worried a little bit, to be fair, because I know he wasn't necessarily going to score in the first 10 minutes, obviously. You know, it's definitely doable, but you think that you can keep it tight. Because that's normal being there on the last 10 minutes, but then all of a sudden, you got two quick goals. And I was thinking, okay, have they found something here to unlock us? And admittedly, one of them, I think, was a set piece, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but um, yeah, with a two 0 I was kind of thinking, uh oh, is this a, is this the start of it? Um, is that what you guys are thinking up there? Yeah, yeah, I think, especially when it's Hughes and Greengrass as well. You know, a deadly duo up front there. You know, we two 0 up after about 15 minutes, and then you're thinking, yeah, floodgates could be opening, but it, it settled down for a bit, didn't it? Yeah. You know, I think we we come into our stride. We had a lot of possession then, but then it's you contained us pretty well. Mm-hmm. You know, I think. Sometimes when we kind of broke in behind, yep. we made a few last ditch challenges. Keeper was on good form. Yeah, right. Yeah. We may be being a bit wasteful with some of our finishing, but you know, we, we're going into half time then and it's 2 0 and 2 0 is a dangerous scoreline. Mm-hmm. You know, as a Wolves fan, we've, we've messed up quite a lot of 2 0, so you, you, you don't know what you're going to get, do you? Yeah. And, and did, did it kind of pan out the way you thought that first half, or was it a bit easier than you thought, a bit harder than you thought? Was, have, have people been kind of underestimated Stowbridge? I know that we just lost 4 0 and we had most of the possession, but. You know, I don't think it was too easy for you in the sense of it's not like you walked away with it like 8 0. Two of those games came in the, you know, like, like the second half as well. That's it. I think first game of the season, you know, you expect both teams to be a little bit rusty yep. as well. You know, again, we both made lots of changes to the team, so you're going to be rusty. You're still trying to figure things out. We saw a lot of misplaced passes, I think, from both sides, and that stuff's expected in that first game. I think when you think of the game last year where we did beat you 8 0, I think it was, yeah, yeah. and we clicked a lot that game. So we, we weren't quite there, so I think the game probably panned out how I expected it to. I think if, you, if you'd sneaked a goal, I think in that second half and it's 2-1, we get a little bit nervy then. Potentially, yeah. it probably finishes 2-1, yeah. you know, unless you find an equaliser. So I think we were able to play with a lot more freedom once that third goal goes in and then it becomes 4-1 and then we miss a few more chances. Yeah, but yeah I think it was, it was a fairly competitive game still. You yeah. know, it wasn't, I don't think we, we ran away with it at any point really. Oh, we did have that one chance. Uh, Leo Joy spent pretty much one on one with the keeper. Should have um, got to score. <laughs> on, a, on that, like, the right hand side of the goalkeeper, yeah. and just didn't quite get that uh, shot as clean as, as possible. But did you ever think at any point that Sarah was, was likely to get a goal today? No, I think there was a couple of times you, you know, you, you put balls over the top, didn't you? And you tried. We're playing with quite a high line of defence. Yeah, yeah. And you're there trying to get the balls in behind. It was, it was once or twice. I think you got that ball in behind, and Beck was quick to come out. But it was possible. You know, that was probably your best kind of avenue to yeah. scoring. And, never know when you get a set piece either, do you, if that's mm-hmm. going to help. But, no, I think there's, there's always that chance that style, you know, you can hit us in that way. But, yeah, I think you you control possession at times. You know, when you had you had little five-minute spells here and there, yeah, and I yeah. think that was, that was probably your best route to success. But I think I've seen enough from Stalbridge there. You, you've got enough maybe to, to stay up again, mm-hmm. you know, and to really become competitive. And you can get that new team to gel together. Yeah. You're in with a chance, aren't you? Lots of positives today. You know, like I say, it, it took about 75 minutes for us to, 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 to concede that third goal. Um, and we know it's going to be hard. You know, I spoke to Nick uh, on, on your channel uh, at the start uh, a couple of days ago. And we know it's going to be very tough to score against some of these top teams. But for us, it's all about winning the teams around us. And also, not uh, conceding too many goals. You know, we could come down to goal average. And we can see today already that uh, Hull have conceded a lot of goals. Uh, I'm not too sure what the council score is just yet. They were losing 2-1. But I think for me, I've just always got to look at the teams around me as well. Yeah. At, at least up until Christmas, until we've got some good, good, good amount of points on the board. Uh, so, um, about to Wolves is aimed for this season, then, you know, I, I appreciate Forest have gone full time and they're going to look a real strong setup. Um, are Wolves just going to like set up for like second or third best? Or do they, can, yeah, can I mean, I mean after recent seasons, you'd obviously love to say we're in the title race, and I guess on day one, you could still say that, you know, and, and while you're yeah, in it yeah. until you're not. But yeah. realistically, just like with Newcastle last year, you know, Forest have. That's on WS have a lot of players, so yeah. the expectation is Forrest are probably going to run over the league, Burnley not far behind them, and then Rugby and Stoke have invested a lot too. So it's going to be really difficult for us, you know, but if we can be within that mix and just stay competitive with those teams at the top, then that's yeah. that's what we ask for, which is similar to what we got last year too. So 
there's a small chance of a title race, I guess, but you know, thinking realistically, we know that's that's unlikely. Yeah, and just one more for myself, mate, before you enjoy the rest of the evening. The atmosphere in the stadium today, you know, we've been, I've been a stadium there for three years, and there's not many teams that even has one song, let alone uh, back to back songs, just like us, you know, Anthony's the, the main driver for us, but there's a few of us who like what he does, but don't necessarily join in. You've had a good group of people over there, you know, um, you, you, the, the friends, the kids, everyone yeah. is joining in. What a way it's going, and is this part of what you applaud as well? Do you, do you like the atmosphere and the, you know, the to and fro? Because there's no negative blood between us. You know, we're friends anyway, yeah. uh, off the camera. But um, there's no bad blood between no, us. It was, it was really it's good. Great, great yeah, I mean, as Wolves fan, we've had this last year when like Newcastle came and Forest came, but we don't normally get it when teams that aren't backed, you know, Premier yeah, League teams. Yeah, yeah. So. The Stourbridge fans to have, you know, I love the Stour journey, all the promotions, the, the fans are really passionate, you know, yeah. it's a nice local club, so it's, it was a really good atmosphere today, like you said, it was back and back and forth chanting between the fans, it's all good bands, they're all good natured, and it's what we want from every team really, Absolutely. you know, any team in the division, you, you want to get that going, and I'm sure there's people around us that get fed up with the chanting, but you're coming to a football game, exactly. you've got to expect game. it, it's, it's, it's good stuff, yeah. But I'll let you crack on, but uh, yeah. enjoy the rest of season, mate, and I'll Brilliant. see you at yeah. the normal All the best to Stour. Nice one, mate, thank you. Hello, welcome to the Glassfield Network. Uh, we're back at the clubhouse now, and I just, I just says to Ollie and it says to Kieran, I need to talk. I, I just feel like there's so much going on today. Not just at Stourbridge, but Hull, Halifax, Kelsa, and it's made me so beat that we've been saying, oh yeah, we'll take tenth, we'll take tenth. But after what we've seen in this first weekend, it got me really excited, thinking, yes, definitely. I know that we lost four 0 <clears throat> I know that we, you know, we didn't create too many chances. We had, you know, we had one chance and we conceded four goals. And what's exciting me is comparing that to the Burnley score against, you know, we've got Halifax losing, Hall losing, um, Kelsa losing. It's almost like the, 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 the top have got stronger and the bottom this year has almost got weaker. So I just want to have a quick five minute chat. Kieran, start it off for yourself. The, the weekend as a whole, not the weekend, sorry, the day as a whole, the whole league, mm. what are your thoughts on the results today? Yeah, I think, I think it's sort of gone completely in our favour, hasn't it, really, when you, when you consider um, those teams that you, you probably edge towards the bottom half of the table yeah, um, yeah. Sort of come, come the end of the season. Um, but I think, I think, yeah, you know, us losing the game today, isn't, isn't, we weren't ever expected to get anything from it, so it's not a negative for me personally. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we have to take these positives yeah. that, that other people have, um, I, guess, I guess, dropped points um, early on, yeah. For, for me, what I've seen there is, yes, ignore today's game. As you said, we were always going to find it difficult today. But for me, I'm seeing Halifax are beatable now, uh, and, and I kind of knew that we were beatable. But like Halifax are beatable, Hull's beatable. You know, Kelso we knew he's going to be beatable as well. But today, it's actually kind of like confirmed it to me that you know what, it's not just a pipe dream. It's not just what we're thinking. It's actually doable. When they lose nine or ten nil, and we only lose four nil. Could have been different, but it was 4-0. Um, that really excites me. Ollie, what, what, what did you see today? What, what were your thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought we were very much improved on the uh, last time we uh, faced Wolves. I mean, it was 8-0 in the cup the last time we faced them, but um, the, the uh, most impressive performance for me was Harry Pimsel, the goalkeeper, mm -hmm. um, and uh, T. Phantom, and yeah. uh, Daisy Clements, and Gwen Morgan. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, they all had a part to play today, and um, where we lost four now, we showed all the glimpses of what we were capable of. 100%. Yeah, I think, I think the game plan worked exactly as, as we sort of predicted. Yeah. Um, obviously, we weren't able to create that many chances and get on the ball in, in dangerous areas that much just because of the quality Wolves have. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, you could see it just, just sort of the basics. Um, obviously, Somewhat solidity, as much solidity as you can get yep. playing Wolves at the back. Um, you know, that midfield three, Gwen, that we've highlighted as being one of our our key players sort of going forward, mm -hmm. spraying them, them passes in behind, and yep. then it's just it's pure pace up front. You know, Daisy and, and Leone and, and, and Mill to some extent, and, and um, uh, Shauna when she came on, yeah. um, all, all played their part up front. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I think it's exactly as, as we sort of said yeah, a couple of episodes ago really. Absolutely, yeah. So we've got Burnley coming up and then followed by Hull. So I think Burnley will be a tougher test than Wolves. I don't think Wolves are great today. I generally don't. I think, I think they've done enough. And I think obviously it kind of showed that it was the first game of the season. Burnley absolutely smashed it up there as well. So I think 
Burnley will be an even tougher game. For me, it's about damage limitation, don't do anything stupid, let's not leak too many goals. Uh, and then for me, it's about Hull. How important is that whole game two weeks' time, Kieran? Very, very, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, like, we've seen... Um, we've seen... Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, we've we got, we got a we visitor. Got, we got, we got can, Mark, can I just say, oh, it was a game of two halves. The first half it was 2 0. The second half it was 2 0. And it all added up to 4 0. Yeah. Very true. Well, Very true. sorry to cut you off there, Kim, but you, you, yeah, did, okay. you, you saw the game. Were, were you impressed with what you saw from Sandwich? I was extremely surprised because from A's video, saying that you'd rather lose 2 1 than draw 1 1. Quite the opposite because defensively I thought Stairbridge were very, very, very good. And the way they played it, the way they kicked people too far up front. And Wolves, they, they couldn't they couldn't answer it for me. Um, I thought Wolves and Maka, don't want to be controversial, but I think it's a good job that he got his um, his contract uh, <laughs> before this game, yeah, I said myself, um, one of the players best we get to see the past, haven't they? Yeah, they, they were looking, they were looking absolutely. What do we do? We just cannot score. That, that's what it was to me. Yeah, that's what it was to me. And, yeah, um, there were some amazing performances of keeper and how they could give nothing against Tammy George, but she was giving play of the match when our keeper and the uh, the number six, the one that's whoever, the Tilly Phantom. Wow. Yeah, so I was extremely impressed. Tilly Phantom, have you been sure these, these these kind of names have come up two two weeks on Tottenham for us mm -hmm. uh, as well? Uh, you, you mentioned Hull, the importance of that game. Yeah, two weeks time down here, that's surely a game that we can actually win now. You know, yeah, it's really massive, really confident. Yeah, I think I think looking towards next week, Burnley. Obviously, we've seen what they can do today, and we know obviously from last season as well. Mm -hmm. They're a very good side, so I'm not expecting. I'm expecting, I'm expecting a tougher challenge than Wolves today from Burnley. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think I think that whole one, we know now the importance of it and, and I guess we're going to aim to give our all in that one yeah. um, to, to really get our season off and running really. Yeah. Okay. Burnley's a free hit, it's irrelevant. It's true. Oh, yeah, Paul now, Paul, yeah. Halifax, um, Kalsa, yeah. Very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a great weekend. Great weekend for us. could be a massive factor as well. So. Playing a little bit more cautiously instead of going mm -hmm. for the uh, Kevin Keegan, we're going to score more than you. Yeah, not give away. Yeah, it's about great weekend. Great weekend. Awesome. Nice to see you, Mark. Thank yeah, you, Mark. Thank, thank you, Mark. Um, if you don't know Mark, it's uh, Esme's uh, dad, Esme Miranda, who used to play for us for five years. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Mark. Um, I'll leave, let's just finish it with you. Then. Uh, Burnley to come, Holt to come. Um, what, what are your thoughts on those two games? Um, They'll give us a tougher test, but um, if we could maybe get a goal against them, yeah. that could be what, even if it's 4-1, it doesn't matter, but um, mm -hmm. Hull, I reckon, um, we can do something. So do I. And I'll be, I'll be shocked if it went into double figures, if we, if we score up to like 10-0 against Hull. Yeah. Well, no, pr no pressure, girls, but... Yeah. Uh, no pressure, girls, yeah. but yeah. Bad your orders. Great, thanks, thanks for joining us. Uh, brilliant. Uh, tune in to the next show, mate. Up the stower. Up the stower. Up the stower. Hello, well, we're back. Uh, finally finished uh, at the War Memorial Ground. It's been, uh, been a busy day, especially for you, Anthony, uh, back in the Glasgow Network studio. And now it's 10 pm on Sunday night. Uh, for you, Anthony, it's been a long day, hasn't it? To you, what time did you get up uh, this morning? Uh, I got up at 5 30, first train at 6, uh, second train at got a tube at seven ten half an hour wait for the third train eight till ten ten uh birmingham Moore street and then and then to stour where craig craig picked me up for the uh, game towards telford against wolves <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah that was a, it was a great game and uh, i think the general consensus back at the clubhouse uh, afterwards i think there was about 14 of us i counted uh, all women's uh, football fans, or women's section fans as well. Um, I think the general consensus was happiness, really. Like, not happiness that we lost, or but I think generally, I think there's a, a strong belief that we will finish above two other teams this season. And I think that's the main thing that comes out of it. I think last season it was all about staying up, and I think this is embedded in our heads. And if our like, aims are a little bit higher this season, then obviously we need to uh, change our mindsets. But I think ultimately... Survival is always the first thing on our mind, and we've seen 
um, the likes of Holland, Halifax and Castle will lose today as well. And I think it's gave us a bit of hope that you know we will definitely finish above them or be just the first game. Would you say the general consensus today? Was was you happy uh, with with what you saw today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in certain aspects, I just wish like it's like Wolves, isn't it? It's like that. It's like it's that one game. Even though they know they can beat us, it's that one game. It's like they go all out. Like we we yeah. don't really create anything. And, like just one goal against Wolves. Like we've scored against Burnley. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Did we score? No, I don't no, think we did no, score against it. Newcastle. No. But we did have. We have created more chances against Newcastle. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, it doesn't happen against Wolves. Um. Uh, it, it's a inexperienced side to Tier Three. I'd say there's a lot of players that have not played Tier Three before. And the objective is is survival, and it it will be, uh, um, I feel for a long time unless we f- s- a significant backing mm-hmm. with a, a huge amount of money that that can get us higher in, in this sort of level. Mm-hmm. So it will be hard, but um, it, yeah, it, like last year it's a mini league. You've got your I think you've got your your top four, five sides: Burnley, Forest, Wolves. You include rugby in that as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably include rugby in it now. Then you've got your middle of the pack: Liverpool, Feds, Derby, uh, Derby, Stoke. Even though Stoke lost today, and then you've got us: Halifax, Hull, Kelso. And yeah, and yeah, the other yeah. side, and it's being better than two of them teams. And yeah, yeah, you can be positive, yeah, 10 nil, 9 nil, but it's 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 going to be all about them games with the teams around us. And uh, so, our first so, one's whole. So, so did you see enough of today's game that makes you think that we can get enough uh, points uh, from the teams around us? It's it's difficult to say really, isn't it? It's difficult. It's a difficult one, because Wolves they've always been up there, but they've had a lot of changes as well. Uh, yeah, on a different day, I'm sure you'd agree. We mm-hmm. it it could have been we could have been one of them teams that are now talking. Yeah, seven eight nil. Uh, if if it was if it the rubber the green went for them a bit more, mm-hmm. but uh. One thing is, they're, they're never going to give up, I can, I can tell that, they'll always keep going, they'll always keep going regardless, but yeah, we're going to, we need, to, when when we need, we need to perform on the days against the teams that we need to get the points otherwise, yeah, yeah but long soon to go, it's one game isn't it, you, yeah, you can't, yeah, Everyone's still learning, even aid, I'm sure. Absolutely, yeah. I think t- two players who have um, got a lot of good plaudits in the last couple of games that we've watched, uh, Anthony, was um, goalkeeper Javier Grimshaw and Tilly Phantom uh, at the back. Um, I believe Tilly got player of the match uh, on the Sturbridge official Twitter page and I think a lot of fans actually said it was uh, Javier Grimshaw. Uh, so those two players um, certainly uh, done really well so far, haven't they? Yeah, they have. And... Uh... Harrier in goal, obviously, on a team like Stower, where you are going to leak goals, and she's going to be vital. And what I liked about Harriet is, even though like we had people experienced like Amy and Jamie, I actually heard Harriet more. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, just the the speaking, yeah, and that that is going to be yeah. Vital, especially with uh, not so experienced tier three defence, and so you're going to need that backing. You're going to need that guidance. So yeah, no. What well, first game for me didn't put the foot wrong in my eyes. Uh, all all four goals. Yeah, she had no chance. It wasn't like that. That, that none of them come from her. It's just one of the things, Tilly, I 
obviously first time I've seen her play, but yeah, she was great as well. Uh, simple. I wouldn't say like maybe one of the goals was the sort of we could have avoided, but mm -hmm. other other than that, I just think it was just like the, the quality of them sometimes of the ball being able to get behind us that that did us. Burnley next week, so it doesn't get any uh, easier. Uh, it will get tougher before it gets easier. Um, do you see pretty much uh, the same? You know, um, a loss, and it's just a case of keeping the goals down, or do you, can can you see a way of us somehow getting something from Burnley? Well, as much as much as I'd like to say, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get a point, or we're gonna somehow miraculously well. I can't say miraculously get a win, but get a win. You have to be realistic, don't you? Burnley, I, I'm not sure they're full time yet, but they've got players that have played, I think, WSL, definitely Championship, Kirsty Lavelle, Naomi Hartley, in the high tier Good teams. Players, yeah. So it is going to be hard against them. Whereas. Uh, with, with semi, semi pro, yeah, it, tier four, experience tier three, it is going to be hard, yeah, and like we 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 said at the club earlier, it is going to be about goal difference is going to come into it, mm -hmm. but goal difference is only going to come into it if we can win our battles against the teams we need to be. Good point, yeah. Uh, and finally, um, the wall stands uh, were amazing today. Um, you, you in there had a good bit of rivalry, very friendly rivalry. I think it was very uh, well respected of each other. Just your thoughts on the atmosphere today uh, compared to a lot of other Sturbridge games that you've been to over the last two or three years? Yeah, I liked it. I, I did like it. Uh, yeah, young lad. Uh, it's good. I, I want more of it. Uh, uh, I do think maybe maybe if I turned up at Secret Squirrel next week uh, at a Wolves game, then you probably wouldn't hear him. Maybe. It's like, oh, yeah, here's 20 quid, sing this song now. <laughs> yeah, Wolves get battered everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've never heard that. Like, and the amount of opportunities that it could have been sang by someone. <laughs> but no, no, I, 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 I welcome the friendly rivalry. It, 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 it's what the women's game needs. There's, it's too, it's still too much, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, you're too loud. Like, like, mm -hmm. got told to try and uh, keep the noise down before. Yeah, and it's, it's it just happens, yeah. it's not used to it still, and it is going to take time. Mm -hmm. But I want us to hopefully get to that stage where. It's the, it's the norm. Yeah. Like it's not like oh it's a foreign object. It's like, is he drunk? Is he is he on something? <laughs> yeah. No, I want yeah. So I, I I yeah. So I encourage it. I don't like yeah. The more it happens, the better. Because I, I I won't I won't stop singing regardless of winning, yeah. losing. Absolutely yeah, and yeah, and you can see it gradually, slowly but surely, season on season, other teams making a few songs themselves now, uh, which all seemed completely out of the ordinary just five years ago, even in WSL. It took you know, five or six years for WSL teams to get on board with uh, singing and making a bit more noise and just clapping and cheering. So, yeah, uh, fantastic. And it was a great atmosphere there. So I think, you know, all in all, you look back on today and, you know, the, the stadium was lovely. Um, you know, the, the food was nice. It was nice to catch up with some old uh, faces as well. Uh, great to chat to the Wolves uh, podcast, uh, Wolf Moon podcast over, over there as well. Um, the game itself, pretty much as we expected, um, a Wolves win. Um, I don't think they've done great, Wolves, uh, but I think they've done a lot more than what we did, especially going forward. They created chances, they didn't score all the chances. Maybe on another day they would, and they did in the past. Um, we didn't really have that many chances. We had uh, the only Joyce with our best opportunity, but um, we couldn't quite uh, get that. I think that was 2-0 at the time, so that could have potentially made it 2-1. But all in all, I think there was quite a few fans uh, that was happy. I think if maybe Kalsa or Hull or Halifax had better better results, then maybe we would have been looking at this game today thinking, oh, it's going to be a long season. But I think uh, that the, the teams around us losing the way that they did has kind of given us a bit of hope. So 
all in all, um, not a bad day at the office, even though we did lose 4 0. We know it's going to be a tough game next week. We know our fourth and fifth team, uh, fourth and fifth game will be very similar to this. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, all eyes on next week. Get through next week and then see what Hall brings. But uh, Anthony, thanks for joining us today. I know you travel a very long way to get here uh, from, um, I'll say Brighton because that's the, uh, the most popular area that, uh, where, where you live, roughly. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me and uh, we shall see you again uh, very soon. No worries. Anyway, off to get the train now. Bye. <laughs> Thank <music> you.